Hey guys, check out MuleFactory.com and use Owen FIFA at checkout for a discount. They do everything, guys, comfort trade and player trades, everything like that. Look, if you see here, all for a great price. Um, they do lots of different prices of coins, so a million, 100k, whatever you want. And all the players like De Bruyne in form, all the team of the year, stuff like that. And also, guys, you do have a 24-7 support series where you can even look at your tickets that you've bought. There's sort of chat option and loads of different questions and answers, so you'll have no problems at all. But yeah, guys, check out Mule Factory and use Owen FIFA at check out. Hey guys, what's going on today and welcome back to a brand new video. We're going to be back and I'm going to be sharing you how to get the best start on FIFA 21. You might be thinking, this is FIFA 20. Yeah, but basically I want to show you basically how to make coins but using a console. I'm just sitting here talking about it. I can kind of show you on the market of what you want to do. Let's say you come on and you have your, 50, let's say 5k. We won't start at 50k because it'll, a lot of you won't have that. Um, let's say 5k we have. And you're going to come on, you want to do this on the first week. So you want to go BPL Striker and then Gold Rare. And if you probably look, there'll be a load up for like this sort of price. I mean, it might even work on here as an example, but um, so you kind of can see it's a good example actually. You can kind of do this already, but you kind of find the price. So one four. Then all you do is you'd buy people like Gray, like the fast basic players of 82, 83 pace or more. Like you just keep looking at it. Cigar is another perfect example. You ignore players like Dini, obviously, and players like that. I think who are, I don't know who else. But this guy you'd buy, Samata. I wish I could show you right now on the um, actual. Like you'd ignore Abraham probably because I mean, let's be real, he's 74 pace. He's not really that quick, and that's a good start. But yeah, you kind of get the drift. I can keep talking because it doesn't really matter in the background. Um, but yeah, so that's all you'd need to do is just keep doing that and um, buying different players that are cheap. Obviously, selling them for like one, for buying them for like one k, selling them for two and a half or more. And um, there'll be a lot of competition at the start of the game. So obviously, that's one. I'm going to show you three different methods. That's the first one. It's just BPL strike and buy the fast cards. Um, the second one is going to be this. So you want to go in here. And you want to go to Shadow. I mean, this is going to be hard at the start, but you can go Defender. I mean, it, might, it depends what the Shadow cards sell for. This is again depending on stuff because I don't know what they're going to sell for. But you can go with any, basically, just go with any because people will just buy anything at the start. And let's say 2k. I mean, you could even go if you didn't want to do that, put any in, and it'd be like 1.5k, I think. No, not even that like cheap. I mean, like, <laughs> I'll pick this up because I know they'll sell for 1.8. Like, it's. Like, what the fuck? Where do they come from? Okay. Um, there we go, we'll start on for 1.8 in a bit. I don't know where all those players came from. I'm really confused. Um, but yeah, so you'd like, just keep going like this with it. Um, and you do the same with Hunter. So you'd go into here, Hunter, and then try and buy Strikers in this for the, um, the new game. Obviously on here, if you want to do it on here still, I mean, do what you like. I mean, but for the new game, I'd stick to simply just doing this and like, trying to buy any Striker. But even 200, 300 coin profits, this is going to work on the web app, stuff like that, anywhere, like console, on the early access, anywhere at all, because people are going to be putting hunters on their players to use them in teams and they'll decide, oh, I don't like him. Then they'll just forget that the hunter card's worth something and they'll just sell it on. It happens every year. It's worked every single year since the chem styles were a thing. And finally, it's going to be if you're lucky enough to be able to have a knowledge on silver cards, sorry about the phone, um, if you have a knowledge or want to learn, that's the thing, it's up to you. If you want to learn this, you can. Like if you go here, look, silver rare prem. I mean, I imagine on the game that it comes out first, they'll be about a K, um, and then drop really quick, and then they'll start to rise. The good ones will rise against. So you've got to try and find the ones that are good. Like, I mean, obviously, Atsu in the next game is worth buying because if he's, at new, if he's still at Newcastle, I don't know in real life, but he's fast. You want to buy fast players, good weak foot and skilled players. Like, let's just buy this Baluta because, I mean, I know I can make coins on it. And look, you kind of see, look, he's going for like 1.3K. I mean, there's one for 800, but we'll ignore that one because that's what happens. People list up, they don't sell really fast. Fast, but then you can just go like this and then list it on the three days because I don't really play on this game other than to make videos so I don't really care what happens with them just list them up like that but yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video it's, it's going to just be the video is the sort of thing I'll be making from now on up until FIFA 21 so we can properly do it but if you want to see any other sorts of videos let me know and I'll get it arranged and sort it out and I'll see you all next time with a brand new